Hello learners welcome to this educational program of igno the topic of today's session is importance and scope of event management today we have with us dr hina k bijli she has immensely worked in the field of resource management and has taught in several universities the diploma in event management is developed under her expertise and she is the program coordinator of this program today dr hina is with us i would request dr hina to please share about this diploma program and its relevance in today's scenario dr hina thank you dr pooja for inviting me to this program the school of continuing education basically has a vision the vision is lifelong learning and the mission for the school of continuing education is to develop programs which have professional competencies from which the learners can gain a lot now this school of continuing education offers a unique basket of programs which are aimed at developing the skills and competencies of the learners and which is why the diploma in event management was envisaged in the school of continuing education now the objective of the diploma in event management is to equip the learners with the requisite knowledge and skills in order to make them professionals in the most rapidly growing industry the event industry this program is of 32 credits the duration of this program is for one year and we have five theory courses one internship course and one practical course in this program the eligibility for the learners to enter into this diploma program is that they should have completed plus 2 from any disciplinary stream so before i move ahead with the importance and scope of event management i would like to emphasize on why we need to study event management basically when we actually look at any advertisement on the television or when we listen to any you know advertisement on the radio we are merely listening or hearing so brand promoters always always felt the need that event management has to happen because it provides the touch and feel experience consumers really need to feel the brand the product which is being loaded for their company which is where the touch and feel experience is incorporated in event management hence it is rightly called the business of experiences please tell us what is the relevance of event management in the light of various events happening in the event industry every event is uniquely crafted by a different team of people at a different destination and also with a different management angle so events are unique in their own respects no two events are similar similarly management of events is a service activity there is a lot of demand being placed on events because of course the uh, you know the corporate industry as well as the socio cultural event industry is booming like anything hence management of events is a service activity and it has to be professionally managed for success above all events you know they are major economic and social drivers of cities regions and nations we have a uh, major contributions of events happening at the international level so today it has come out to be a multi million uh, dollar industry so when this diploma in event management was envisaged like i said we had to uh get insights from industry experts who felt that there is a major gap between the growing need for trained professionals as well as their av uh, availability hence enhancing their professional competencies was very necessary and their qualifications of people already employed in the industry was really required to be enhanced so a lot of exploratory activities were integrated with theoretical components in this program so that it could inculcate deep learning through interest within the learners their motivation their uh, participation in this kind of a diploma program so that it can bridge challenges in event management education besides this the print materials would prove advantages for the learning comfort of people who are already engaged in the event industry or those who want some kind of an enhancement within their stream or those who want to 
get into the event industry as entrepreneurs so the learners can easily access the event management company websites easily and establish contacts with them while they are learning this subject so this will allow greater scope and wider reach in a number of study locations besides this we have certain audio and video programs featuring experiences of event leaders and event coverage to reinforce their learning targets now coming to uh, the event industry i would like to present a snapshot of the event industry the event industry is categorized on the basis of the size of events as well as the key services which the events offer so we have the mega events which are the larger than life spectacular events they are targeted at international markets like for example we have the world expositions we have the olympics the commonwealth games the world cups we have the regional events that are used to enhance the appeal of a tourist destination we have major events we have minor events the major events could be the trade fairs and the minor events could be events happening in small cities and other towns similar locations we also have the hallmark events which are one off events they increase the ethos and spirit of a destination so all these events aim to promote a particular brand or a destination or the product of a particular company broadly the definition of event management is that event management involves studying the intricacies of the brand identifying target audience devising the event concept planning logistics and coordinating the technical aspects before actually executing the modalities of the proposed event hence event is practiced globally today with all the requirements and rigors of any modern profession and it is meant largely for skill enhancement and developing various competency domains in the event industry then the other uh, way of categorizing events is based on the key services which the events provide these are largely the intellectual properties which are coming up in a big way because event companies want to brand their events so by creating intellectual property where the concept or the logo belongs partially or wholly to a company's practice like for example the india international film fair awards then we have managed events which are the popularly the brand launches dealer meets weddings anniversaries parties festivals fundraisers we have the digital events which are used for uh, getting people who are spread across spaces who cannot be physically present in one location at a time so uh, they are uh, present in a digitally connected environment and these digital events are largely becoming popular and are being uh, used by advertising companies print companies even radio companies because they are cheap and they are a little different from the traditional events then we have the activations or promotional campaigns these are uh, basically the small sized events uh, which are used for the promotion and sale of a particular product or to you know uh, rejuvenate products or brands then of course we have emerging trends nowadays we are seeing emerging trends in rural events sports you see the marathons you see a lot of sports activities happening at the local district levels we have digital integration and government events like for example the make in india campaign and uh, can you now please tell us the scope and opportunities which exist uh, in the event sector well the scope and opportunities of events uh, can be understood uh, by understanding the market demands being placed on events for instance the uh, events which are corporate uh, or uh, the social and cultural events these events uh, generate a lot of revenue Revenues. and they need yeah. a lot of expertise, expertise. to manage these okay. events yeah. for example uh, the corporate events the meeting incentive corporate uh, conferences and exhibitions which are popularly known as the mic yes. events yeah. these are the brand launches which i already mentioned earlier the meetings yeah. exhibitions conferences we also have the social personal and cultural events like weddings family get togethers anniversary parties birthday parties festivals fair sports all these constitute a major segment of the event mm -hmm. business and uh, we are increasingly seeing that a lot of uh, such events such small scale events mm -hmm. are also focusing on you know uh, decorations interiors 
they are also focusing on uh, celebrity ex uh, appearances so all these are customized to cater to the needs of the clients who want these events to be organized for them so these are the events the managed events which fetch a lot of revenue today in the event industry then we also have the digital events and activations which are rapidly uh, emerging now digital events again there is a lot of integration happening in the digital events arena where we see that such events are becoming popular where there is a lot of internet uh, connectivity and internet penetration and also because of the mobile connectivity which has increased across india the promotion of a digital india is uh, you know taking these kinds of events yes. to great heights also these are low cost uh, in nature and uh, the present generation of marketers have many options through uh, such events and also uh, one thing more to add over here is a lot of uh, you know uh, consumers are willing to pay for such events so this kind of a uh, 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 response from consumers you know it uh, enables the event marketers to generate such events design and generate such events the event industry has some key strengths so, yeah. so any person who gets into the event industry uh, gets a hang of how to con conceptualize manage and execute events and of course creativity and ideation are the uh, key profitability mm -hmm. aspects of the event management industry mm -hmm. the event management industry is being pushed to great heights because of the creativity factor which is attributed to the youth that is entering the industry also in event industry today has the ability to create intellectual properties mm -hmm. there are sizable business opportunities for the unorganized and organized nice players Growth, yeah. because there is very little seed capital which is required to start an event company so those trained in the field are so uh, become so proficient after a period of time and along with uh, the necessary knowledge inputs and insights going from the curricula of event management uh, people who are engaged in the event industry will be able to use highly portable skills to succeed in other professions and build entrepreneurship there are yeah. also some key yeah. challenges yeah. in the event industry yeah. which i would also like to add yeah. there is acute shortage of trained manpower yeah. which the event industry people have already been articulating from the beginning of my contact with them they were saying that the work skills deficiency and attrition rates are very very high a major youth factor is required in the event industry to deliver the wow factor and increase creativity but the quality and quantity of talent that is entering the industry is highly inadequate so they need you know professional programs like right right this. right right now dr hina could you please tell you know uh, in detail about this program and how it is going to benefit the aspiring event managers right this program largely uh, entails uh, the designing of the event experience because event is rightly called the business of experiences and we also see many companies today who are like i already pointed out earlier who are making use of events to load their brands to reinforce their brands for their product launches etc so event essentially is essentially is a live communication media where you see that you are customizing the event to the objectives of the clients and where you define a target audience and then you deliver an event which creates a great impact on the target audience so when such an event happens you see that there is interaction on both the sides between the uh, between the uh, client as well as the target audience, audience yeah. and this is what an event is uh, meant for yeah. so uh, while crafting the event experience we first conduct research to determine the expectations mm -hmm. and create a customer profile or a target audience profile we then go on to conceptualize the event so as to meet the expectations of the audience we determine the event elements for creating the de desired experience we visualize how all these event components fit together design the strategy for implementation select the best products and providers available and affordable and finally we monitor and deliver the event 
experience so in a nutshell we first try to understand the expectations of the consumers, consumers. or the target audience yeah. we yeah. develop the concepts based on the needs of the target audience and we finally go on to create the event experience i would also like to add a little more as to uh, what activities are put in place yeah. before marketing and promotion activities yes. start so we while we craft the event experience we think about the destinations and venues we think about the spatial considerations where the event will be held what kind of destination this is going to be yeah. you know what kind of layout it is going to be how is the tourism going to benefit in that particular location so on and so forth in fact many event managers are going on to organize their events uh, by looking at distinctive venues which are outside their uh, state or country then we also uh, teach the learners the uh, gimmicks of project management tools for planning like the gantt charts and run sheets we lay a lot of thrust on developing checklists like budget laser light shows site and safety transportation parking and entertainers checklists so there's a lot of thing that goes while you're crafting the event experience then of course the use of technology because events weave a lot of various technologies together a lot of technology integration is happening at great levels we are seeing event companies or event firms sending invitations to their target audience through mail sms and whatsapp as digital qr codes and let me tell you about a very interesting experience i had i visited an event where a uh, uh, 270 degree um, led watch out screen was installed through a uh, 2500 square feet led panels so this kind of uh, i think created a lot of uh, excitement for the target audience which was present at the event at that particular product launch mm -hmm. so uh, interactive curtains fog screens and similar such technology is being used extensively in events today and learners get a chance to learn creativity through technology we also teach the learners event evaluation where the learners can practice small measurements like counting people who attended the activation how many times they posted to social media and you know the how they can design evaluation plans because most of the evaluation takes place after the event happens after the event is over so evaluation is an ongoing process which is uh, essential for so successful just, event yeah. execution yeah. and it provides a profile of the event as well then you have uh, learners will also learn to identify events on the websites or monitor closely the media coverage and also another feature is uh, development of event proposal so uh, whenever a request for proposal is received from the client the event managers develop event proposals for bidding so in this regard uh, students will also learn about the role of destination marketing organizations and event in agencies then of course event risk management many times events you know hazards take place at events and these risks uh assessment happens after the event is over long after the event is over but risk management should be an ongoing process because there are future uncertainties which also, affect legal liability yeah. so there are risks like safety security health hazards crowd control identified by the event team so uh, students will be taught how to develop checklists in risk identification they'll also learn about the laws pertaining to events because uh, collecting information on permits and licenses that allow special activities during an event such as handling of food sale of liquor and road closures is very very important Potential in the learning of, of event event management, management. Uh, tell us something about the practical and the internship component of this program yes a uh, lot of activities have been woven into the practical and internship part the internship part is uh, heavily weighted it is of 8 credits, credits okay. and every learner will uh, attach herself or himself to an event Ma management management company, company mm. and you know will uh, also become a part of the event will be uh, engaged in the planning and uh, execution of the event during the event run and all the activities which i just 
pointed out so this program will also talk about marketing and promotion of events where the companies generate their own portfolios on websites what marketing communication channels whether it will be direct marketing because events are being used parallelly to marketing spends and internet marketing so this is also an essential feature of this program learners will gain knowledge regarding designing of messages that will provide appropriate information to arouse interest in the event with this i would like to bring up this program to an end because we always think in generalities but we always live in detail hence we really need to understand event management and professionalize the field of event management thank you thank you, thank you dr hena for coming uh, to this session and explaining the important features of this program i am sure the aspiring event managers are going to benefit from this program good wishes to all the learners out there